In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the SmugMug Responsive Slider. So once you have it installed, you just need to activate it. Go ahead and click Activate button. And you're going to get a message across the top. We need to have it authorized uh, from SmugMug. So go ahead and just click the link right here and start the activation process. Click this link here. What this will do, it will take you to a place where you need to open up your SmugMug account and log in to approve the settings. And you're going to get a little message like this asking if you want to authorize it. Just click Authorize. And once you have this message, you've got to go back to the plugin and hit SEP2, authorization complete. Let's finalize it. This saves the settings. Next, you have your settings page. This is general settings for the entire SmugMug responsive slider. Uh, the first series here is if you've created any user categories in your SmugMug account. So just for a test, I put family fun, outdoor, and website images. You can put as many as you want. It also brings in all of the default categories that SmugMug has. The use case scenario for this is, let's say you only want your admins to uh, grab photos from things that you've categorized on SmugMug as website images or if it's a WordPress multi-site install and you want different subsites having access to different categories. If you're not interested in that, you want to pull them all, just leave all of these blank. The next is the image slider options. Uh, how do you want the image slider to behave? You know, the animation, just pretty standard stuff. When you're all done, save all. If for some reason you get stuck or you want to reset the categories, you can just click here. Or if the authentication uh, gets interrupted or you need to re-authenticate with a different account, you go ahead and just click uh, this link right here and it'll start the process over. So now that you're approved, let's go ahead and create a page or a post. Just add new page. I'm going to call this uh, Test Smug Mug Slider. Put your cursor where you'd like to drop the image gallery and click your Upload Insert link. You're going to have a new tab over here, Smug Mug. This is where you select the gallery. These are pulling in galleries from your Smug Mug account. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Craig Downey. He gave us some photos to use. And you want to display it as a slider. This is a responsive slider. Or do you want to display thumbnails, much like the gallery? We're going to do a slider. And what image styles do you want to pull in? Uh, generally, you're not going to want to go any bigger than medium. And then where do you want them to link to? Do you not want to link? Uh, I like to do the light box. It'll open up in Smug Mug with some extra options. And then click the Insert Smug Mug Gallery. Publish page. Now let's go ahead and see what happened. You see if we go on down, it drops in a nice gallery that you can page through. And it's also, like we said, responsive. So it adjusts to the width of your page. Let me show you what a the thumbnails look like. Go ahead and delete that short code. We're going to drop in same pictures, but we'll do uh, just thumbnails. Go ahead, thumbnail image, and we'll have them open up a light box. Insert, update, and view page. And here, when we click on them, it opens up a new tab in your SmugMug account with the light box. And this is where if you have your images for sale, you know, you can have the buy links, uh, all the different options you can set with your SmugMug account. But that is how you use the responsive SmugMug slider.